welcome back to another video. You may have seen in my most recent YouTube short that I purchased the Always Pan and I got a great deal on it. I paid 67 bucks for this thing and I'm going to put it to the test today. I'm a little late to the bandwagon, but that's okay. I've been wanting to try it for a while, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend 150 bucks on it. So now that I got it for a steal, I'm excited to give it a shot and see what the hype is all about. Today's dinner is gonna be super simple. I'm not gonna lie, I work six days a week and that makes me kind of lazy by default. You'll see the trend that I tend to buy pre-chopped, pre-cut, pre-cooked items just to cut down on preparation time for myself. These potatoes supposedly expired yesterday, but I'm still gonna cook them up. I'm not about to let them go to waste. I've also never had these before, so I'm not gonna be able to tell the difference between the day old one and the fresh one. The instructions are super simple. You just cook them for about 12 minutes over medium heat on a skillet. Jewel had a great sale on these Purdue shortcuts and I stocked up. I bought like 36 bags of these things. Pre-chopped chicken, pre-cut, pre-cooked. All you have to do is heat this stuff up, which is a dream come true for me. Instructions say to cook for about five minutes on a medium skillet, which is where our always pan will come into play. I was feeling a bowl of some kind, so I also just grabbed these greens. They were also on sale at my local grocery store. I've always wanted to try these, but they're very expensive and they were on sale for $1.99 per container. So compared to like five bucks a container, I think that's pretty sweet. I picked up these rice packets from Dollar Tree today. I've never had these before and I can't find any reviews. So if you've had them before, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna see how full I am with just the chicken and potatoes and salad. And if I need more, then I'll cook them. But if not, I will save them for another video. You can't do anything in this kitchen without Josie's wiggly nub right underneath you. And those are all of my ingredients. I was looking up reviews of this pan before I bought it and most of them said to coat the pan with some kind of high smoke oil and that's actually what comes in the packaging as well. Our place recommends that. So that's what I'm going to do just to preserve this thing. It does add calories but everything else in this meal is pretty low calorie so I'm not too worried. At this point I was just letting it preheat and using the campfire method to test if it was preheated. I just made that up. Probably not the best way to test the pan. These potatoes should only take 12 total minutes according to the packaging, but they do look a little bland so I'm going to add some seasoning which you will see in a moment. I kept it pretty simple with seasonings. I started with salt and then I added some pepper, which only about a third of it actually went into the pan, as you can see. And then I hit them with some Italian seasoning just for fun and some garlic powder. And I think that was it. then toss them a bit just to get a nice even coat of the seasoning on the taters because it would be highly unfortunate to have one garlicky bite and the rest very bland. And the other one had to come see what was up, naturally. I didn't know how hot this top was gonna be, so I definitely tested it a few times. It wasn't that hot after the first four minutes.
while the potatoes were on their last cycle of cooking, I decided to prep the rest of my meal, which was pretty easy. It just consisted of cutting up this butterhead lettuce and it just looks so smooth. I'm super excited to try this lettuce. got to add some croutons these are just the generic brand from my local grocery store I think they were four for five bucks or something this time the top was extremely hot so if you are looking to get this pan and use it for the first time please be careful it's kind of deceiving because it looks like a soft matte finish or like plastic it looks separate from the body of the pan so it's kind of deceiving and that it doesn't look like it would be hot but it definitely is. And this is how they turned out. I ended up cooking them for 15 minutes because I like mine crispy. Don't mind the sloppy mess. I should have used a bigger spoon. And now I just need to make the chicken. So I'm going to repeat the same process. Just coat the pan in a little bit of olive oil, shake it up, make sure it's mixed around in there. And then I can just toss the chicken in to be heated. I just put some Montreal chicken seasoning on these little strips cause they looked pretty naked. And I will say the pan is performing very well. I was able to squeeze three more meals out of this batch, so that's pretty awesome. And this is how it all turned out. Like I said, I was going for a bowl, so I'm just gonna mix this all up. And that is absolutely not the look I was going for. I was definitely going for an aesthetically pleasing drizzle, but um, you get what you get, I guess. Just to make them a little more substantial, I added some white rice and some chopped carrots. You guys, I had to share this Dollar Tree find with you. I found these beautiful stoneware mugs and plates at Dollar Tree. And when you look on the bottom, it says exclusively made for Bed Bath & Beyond. So I don't know why these are in the dollar store, but they are amazing. They're the Studio 3B stoneware plate in the color Toast. So I went to one Dollar Tree, found three of them. I was in agony because three is not a set and it was driving me crazy. So I went to another Dollar Tree, didn't have them, went to another Dollar Tree and they had four. So I now have a collection of seven of these plates and four of the mugs. And I'm probably gonna keep my eye out for one more plate just cause I'm crazy like that. These look so expensive. They look so much more expensive than $1.25. Here's another set that I got from the Dollar Tree like a year or two ago. And these ones are really nice too, but you can tell that they're from the Dollar Tree, right? They have that kind of shape that they all have with a different pattern. These are straight up stoneware with a little lip around the plate. They are just mm, perfect. And I actually went online and these are selling in a set of six for about $50. I just paid $8.75. So if you're looking for a cheap new dinnerware set, just know that these are out there. They're a little bit hard to find, but if you can get your hands on them, then it is a phenomenal deal. I just washed the pan and it was super easy to clean. I have a feeling that this pan's gonna make me a lot more inclined to cook. <laughs> 